This time around, I had some help installing my solar system. My buddy Oleg. Hello, my name is Oleg Degenshine. Back from a friend of mine back from New York. And I install solar PV for a living. Who happens to live uh, just about a couple hours from Taos now. I'm working my way up to national certification for solar, but I've been doing this for almost a year now, and I pretty much got the nuts and bolts of it, eh, mate? <laughs> He's a solar installer, so. He was able to fill in some of the blanks and with uh, my previous solar installation when I had it outside the house, helped me move it inside the house, and now has helped me, along with some other people, have like a truly full understanding of how this solar system is set up. So I want to take you through it one more time, a little bit more uh, cleanly, a little bit more uh, knowledgeably, um, so uh, you all can have a better understanding of how this thing is set up. So. Let's start with the, uh, the solar panels. Uh, I have two strings of two modules each. So the first thing is that a panel actually isn't a panel. A panel is a series of modules. So each panel that we're all used to calling them, they're actually called modules. So I have two modules connected together in series. And then I have another two modules connected together in series. And they're brought in to this combiner box over here. If I was to connect all the panels in series together and then connect them into the charge controller, the voltage would be way too high. Because every time you connect the device in series, you're doubling the voltage and this card charge controller has a voltage limitation. But regardless, it's pretty common to install uh, solar modules this way. I, um, so I have two strings. A string is when you have a series of devices connected together in series. So we call that a string. So I have two separate strings of two modules each coming in to my combiner box. So each string comes into its own DC breaker. And this, these breakers are to protect the charge controller and all the other components of the system from any surges that may come from the panels. Sorry, modules. Here are my solar modules mounted on the roof. And as I said before, I have four of them. And they're separated into two strings. Well, two pairs of two strings. So these two right here are connected together. So they each have a positive and a negative connection. So the positive connection of this one is connected to the negative connection of this one. And then the positive of this one and the negative of this one run together into my systems box and connect to the combiner box. And the same deal with these guys. The positive connection of this one is connected to the negative connection of this one. That makes them into series. And then the negative and the positive of those two run in two separate cables into the systems box, into the combiner box, into, those, into another breaker. We're going to do some wire harnessing right now so that when Dan goes to put all these modules on his roof, he won't be cursing and screaming trying to connect them to each other and into the box. We drew a little diagram of how all the wires coming out of the module, lead, uh, the leads coming out of the modules are going to connect to each other and connect to home runs, a positive and a negative. It's basically three strings of two modules connected in series and those three strings are run in parallel to a combiner box which combines the load into one bigger load. These are called Acme Clips and they're pretty amazing. Someone's making a lot of money off of these. They're way too expensive for a little dinky piece of metal. You insert a flathead screwdriver into this little notch back here and it gives you leverage to pry this back and there are little teeth that grip the edge of the module 
and then this springy loop will grip the wires. So we're going to put one right here, like that. And then, I'm going to swing this up into here. You want to leave enough of a bend in this lead here. You don't want it to be stressing the wire. You want to put a little bit of a loop in there. And you want to try and twist the wire so that it's not popping away from the panel. In this case, because we're connecting to another one right here, we want to turn this around and have it face there. So I'm going to put another clip right here for that. You just want to leave a little bit sticking out. There's going to be an inch between the modules, and we don't want this to spring like that. So. You can always adjust it a little bit when you connect them, but about that should get us there. That way, end up something like that, and you won't see these because they'll be under the module. And then on this side, it'll be something similar, but this is going to be a home run. It's not connecting to another module. This is going to the box, connecting to a lead that will go into the box. And put this one about the same place that we did that one. And I'm putting a little back twist on this to keep it tucked up into the module. Then I'm going to leave it going the same way and tuck it into the corner here. And I'm going to clip it a little lower on the side. So this one is going to connect to the home run and come out a little bit like this. And then the home run is going to follow up the module a little bit into the box with 